Would you be willing to give it all up for him? Would you? All the money in your bank account, like right now, if it meant heaven or hell, would you be willing to give it all up to follow Jesus? There's a good example of this. I'm going to read it. Matthew 19, 16 to 22. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do? First off, it's not about what you do. That I may have eternal life. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. God's the only good one. Um, but if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. He saith unto him, Which, Jesus said, Thou shalt not do murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man saith unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? That's not true. He never kept them all. Nobody could keep them all. Uh, Jesus said unto him, if thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. Come follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Uh, on Sunday, we talked about the blessings of the Lord, um, and that being blessed of the Lord doesn't mean that you're going to be rich. And this, Jesus is saying, get rid of it all. Come follow me. Give it away. No, you know, that's why there's another verse that says uh, it, it's hard for a rich man to be saved. Because he, he trusts in his money. He doesn't need to trust in God. Um, the ones that don't have are depending more on the Lord um, and not they don't have the money to depend on and maybe you can relate to that our dependence is on Jesus Christ not on the money in our bank account because in one day that can disappear wouldn't you rather be saved and going to heaven than be rich and going to hell yeah yeah 